Welcome back everybody, my name is Robert and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get your own GB Studio games onto a Game Boy device. So if you don't know what GB Studio is, it's a drag and drop game engine that lets you create Game Boy games that you can play either in browser or on a Game Boy. And by Game Boy I mean the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Pocket, you can even play it on a Game Boy Advance. So to begin I'll imagine that you have already made your game in GB Studio and you've pressed export as a ROM, which means the file that the Game Boy needs to be able to run the game. Um, and now, what do you do with that file? So in front of me, I have a Game Boy, but I also have an Easy Flash Junior cartridge. Um, and this has a slot on the side of it for a micro SD card. And I don't believe it comes with a micro SD card, so you'd have to buy one on top of that. So if I go to uh, this website here, you see Easy Flash, and it tells you on this website how to set it up and also where you can buy it. And if your computer doesn't have a micro SD slot, then you'll have to either get a micro SD card that slots into an SD card that can slot into your computer, or you can get a USB adapter that has a micro SD slot in it that you can then slot into the um, Easy Flash Junior cartridge. Um, so there is a tiny bit of setup for this, but it's very simple and it walks you through it on, in one of these videos. And you can hold so many games on this, it's incredible. So if you're also buying games off of itch that are digital, then this would be a good way to play them. And then all you have to do is slot it into your Game Boy and then you're ready to go and you load it up. So that's, that's way one. And if you wanted to know more about this kind of stuff, the GB Studio Central website has an article that they wrote in 2020. So it's probably a bit out of date now, but it kind of goes over it. And the reason why I'm making this is because I didn't actually understand what this meant when I first got into Game Boy games. Um, and obviously now I do, I'm trying to give you my knowledge in order for you guys to not have the same problems I did. So obviously the Easy Flash Junior is one way and there are other devices like this which use an SD card to load your ROM file. It's, it's, a, it's a .gb file um, that the, the game puts out and then you can just put it into the SD card and then play it on this cartridge. But there is another way of doing it, and that is by using this thing here, which is a Joey Jr. by Ben Venn Electronics. And I've got it right in front of me. I've got it in this little plastic thing. And this is called a flasher or a reflasher because you take a cartridge. So for example, I have this perfect dark cartridge that I got from AliExpress. And basically you just slot it onto it and obviously it has a USB-C adapter that you can then plug into your computer and then it comes up with the files and then you just drop it in um, and it replaces the game that's already on the cartridge with the game that you put on it. So because you're replacing the game on the actual cartridge, I'll show you how I got that perfect dark cartridge from AliExpress in a minute, but this could be considered a destructive process because you are physically overwriting the game on the cartridge that you um, put into this, um, but I b do believe that you can take the files off of whatever you plug into it and then save them onto your computer. So for example, if you plug in the Game Boy camera, you can take the files out of the Game Boy camera and now you have all your photos um, on your computer that you took on the Game Boy camera. Um, so it can also be constructive as well. And obviously the fact you're overwriting it means that this now will have my game on it. So obviously if I take off the sticker and I put a new sticker on it, then I now have my own game. Um, and obviously that's a lot different than the um, Easy Flash Junior because Easy Flash Junior holds a multitude of them. And obviously if you take out the SD card, then it's basically worthless. Everything is on the SD card, right? But with this AliExpress game, it's now my game on this cartridge. Um, and obviously you have to keep in mind that they are bootleg cartridges. So although it says made in Japan, it probably isn't. Um, it also says Nintendo Game Boy across mine. I have seen other cartridges that have different brands across the top. So as you can see, I'm now on AliExpress in the Childhood Games Store um, seller. And they have a set of games here um, and it has Perfect Dark. And you may be thinking, why am I using Perfect Dark? Um, and if we have a look at this list here, um, if you type in Perfect Dark, then it tells you the ROM size, basically. And as you can see, it's 4096, meaning four megabytes. And that is the maximum file size of a GB Studio game. So this will perfectly fit 
a GB Studio game that's at the maximum size on it. Um, and that's important because if you were to choose a different game, let's type in uh, Mario here, um, then you may only have 64 kilobytes. Um, and if you make a game that's over that, which I think GB Studio minimum it makes 128 kilobytes, so you won't be able to put your game onto this cartridge, I believe. Um, so that's why I choose this Perfect Dark. And obviously there are other games on here. Uh, let's see here, there's Duke Nukem. Let's type in that one, see how much that is. Um, it's only 1,000 or 2,000 uh, kilobytes, which depending on the game may fit, but it's probably better to just get the one that has the, f the maximum that you can have on it. Um, just in case you do make a game that big. And obviously this is £3.18 each. Um, so I think it's gone up. I remember when I first ordered these ages ago, I ordered like five of them. Um, and I also came with this plastic case. Um, so you don't, I don't think you need to buy a plastic case with it if you want to put them in this, because they already come in it, I think. Obviously each shop would be different and they don't actually um, say it, um, but it came with it anyway. Um, and I got mine from a different shop anyway. This Obviously they move around and... And the different stock goes different places and obviously the price goes up. Um, so this may be a way you can get uh, your games onto a Game Boy cartridge to then just play on your Game Boy using the Joey Jr. The one I have is version 1 um, with a 3D printed enclosure. Um, I think right now you can only get the version 2, which there's probably nothing different. They do ship from Australia, so it could be a bit of a hassle for you depending on where you are. Um, but there are other devices like this around. This is just the one I have, so I can more directly point to this one. Definitely do your research, and you might find that there are other YouTube channels that have, you know, reviews of different um, products that you might be more inclined to get. But yeah, using one of these two devices, and either an SD card or a bootleg cartridge, you can get your games playable on a Game Boy device. So please let me know if you'd like a follow-up video about different devices. I might be able to um, buy different devices and review them. Or if you'd like a tutorial specifically on how to export your game as a ROM and what it actually means. Yeah, so please let me know. I'll put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. You guys are the best. Remember to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in the future. And I'll see you in the next video.